NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I received supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. So there's one Florida family has suffered a devastating legal blow months after their two month old infant was left unattended and died while in the custody of a state licensed daycare. Our grand jury voted not to indict the establishment caring for the child, despite the fact the local police is still investigating the case. Now with this particular case, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is why I'm a firm believer of if y'all are a couple, you know, in, in together, as a man, you should let your wife stay home or girlfriend stay home with your child long as possible, long as possible. Now I'm gonna continue in this story, but I just want to admonish that. And, and, and because this two month old child that couldn't even defend herself, you know, couldn't talk, couldn't walk, couldn't do anything. It just, for me, it baffles me to even hear uh, someone leaving their child in a daycare. Now, if it was grandma or something like that, or auntie, that's different. But a daycare with strangers, mmm. Now, Natasha Robinson relied on the recommendations of friends before enrolling her newborn in Hugger Family Daycare in Perry, Florida. She dropped her daughter, Jersey Dior McKnight, off in the in-home daycare on August the 9th at 8 a.m., and she never saw her again alive. Now, while under the care of the family-run business, the Florida Department of Children and Families reported that Robinson's daughter was pronounced deceased after she fi was found unresponsive in a mop bucket when she reportedly rolled off of a changing table while at the daycare. Now, hold on. Let me tell y'all something. And you get no criminal charges for that? You leave a two month old child near a mop bucket. You say that's what the, that's what the story is, right? Rolled off of a table and you was nowhere around. You didn't hear nothing. How you not get any criminal charges for that? How? I, I don't get that. And it really, that really just annoys me to hear that. Now they say the Perry police, it said chief Jamie Cruz shared that his department was notified by someone at the daycare at around 3.30 p.m. about a child in crisis. However, Robinson reportedly found out about the incident with one of the children from another parent. and said, after receiving the frantic call, Robinson said, my heart stopped. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. A another parent had to contact you about your child not the daycare? Lord Jesus. These people are crazy. Now, the sister said her heart stopped. It says she added that when she arrived in the residential business, seeing the ambulance detectives and police lights, she didn't realize the severity of what was going on. She didn't even know it was her child. He said, however, upon walking through the door, an officer explained to her that her little girl had been in an accident after being left unsupervised. Young Jersey Dior was later pronounced dead as being taken to the hospital by authorities. Now that alone leaving her is just negligence according to the mother. Now I said the p child's parents, Robinson and Jonathan McKnight is a host of graveside services for their princess on Saturday, August the 14th um, at 11 a.m. And it's, it's crazy. It said now the grand jury voted 10 to eight, not to charge the daycare owner on criminal charges. That's what, that's what only makes sense. 10 to eight. None of you were parents. Let's say members of the family have spoken about their displeasure with the grand jury's decision. Uh, Jersey Dior's aunt Katrina Cook said that 
she is still in shock and in hope that she would have a ruling, uh, but she heard the, incorrectly. She thought that it was going to be charged. And Walter Bishop, the child's great grandfather, uh, expressed what he felt in disregard of Jersey's humanity. And said, so that's just like taking a bucket of water and throwing it out in the yard. And when it's dried up, it's over with. It said, my grandbaby was more than a bucket of water. Now it's unclear if the Hugger family daycare is still open, and but they said that their telephone was disconnected. Now since the incident, the family has found out that the daycare had been cited as non-compliant twice by the state, including violations involving seven children under the age of three. It said the establishment, according to the operational license, had the operation capacity to care for only 10 children. Man, the police say the case is still open, but let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Once again, my opinion, and this is something that I have practiced, I do not believe small children like that, newborns, should not be left in a daycare center. No, no, they need to be at home with their mama. And if not mama, grandmama, auntie, whoever, but something like that. Now, some people may say, well, I got to work. I got it. I understand you got to work, but shoot, man, I, I could not even work in peace knowing my two month old is in a daycare. And, and this lady had a man. Okay. So I can't say she was by herself. When you are, you know, a man in your household, I told you fellas this many, many times before. You don't supposed to depend on your woman to work and pay all the bills. That's not what you're supposed to do. The, even in the Bible, it teach you the, the, that he created woman as a help meet to assist, not do it for you. So when a woman is having a baby, you supposed to step up and say, I get two jobs. I get three jobs, but I need you to stay at home with our little infant baby, at least until she go to school all day and all you can create a business at home. You know, how many people are creating businesses now at home, right? Create a home based business where you could be at home with the baby and still, you know, want to make you some money, you know, I mean, whatever you need to do, if you want to still keep going on, but little babies need their moms or if, if grandmama's willing to do it, you can go back to work or auntie, you know, the ones that are responsible ones that love children. I know these grandmas today are different. I know the grandmas are a lot younger now than what they used to be. Cause you know, I was growing up grandmas was, was in the late fifties, sixties, and they just wanted to take care of grandkids and cook and all of that. But the, those the times have changed. I understand. Uh, but the thing is, regardless, if it's your child and you definitely got a man, men, make sure to allow your woman to stay home, work two jobs, three jobs, create you a side business, do something to make up that income. I always tell men this, when you get involved with, you know, whatever woman you get involved with, you need to have your bills where you can afford them because women could have a baby. Women could not feel well or whatever the case may be. Right. What if she have a pregnancy and, and they say she needs to be on bed rest, but you depending on her to pay half the bills. No, you need to be to pay all the bills. That's why when I hear these little dudes talking about, Oh, it's 50, 50. I said to me, you're 50% of a man. If you're saying that you're supposed to be paying all your bills. I'm not saying your wife can't assist. I say, but when it comes to paying all the bills, that is your job. That way your wife, girlfriend, whoever don't have to go out and work and put your baby and hers in a daycare center at two months old. That's just what I believe. Now you can call me old school, or whatever, but that works. Because this new school crap that y'all doing, mm -mm. and no, I'm not blaming the couple for anything. For y'all start saying that, no, I'm just saying as a preventative measure. Because these daycare centers that I've reported over the years, you know, you got to have a child. In my opinion, you're gonna leave them there. They need to be walking, talking, and could tell you if somebody did them something or whatever. At least have them at that point before you leave them there. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation here with, you know, the little young sister that died, you know, the, the precious little baby, you know, that's just, that's horrible. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African diaspora news channel app in the Google play and Apple app store.
still haven't tried the Locklicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. So I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty.